In this video, we are going to learn about the partial fractions which involve quadratic factors that cannot be factorized in the denominator. This is the learning outcome. If fx over gx is a proper fraction and its denominator is a quadratic function that cannot be factorized, then the fraction can be expressed as this. The example is this. The fraction has two factors in the denominator. One is a quadratic factor that cannot be factorized and the other one is a non-repeating linear factor. So the fraction is decomposed as a sum of two partial fractions. When the denominator is a quadratic, then the numerator must be a linear expression. In this example, we want to express this fraction in partial fractions. This fraction has two factors in the denominator, which are x plus 2 and x squared minus x plus 1 x plus 2 is a non-repeating linear factor and x squared minus x plus 1 is a quadratic factor that cannot be factorized. So the fraction is decomposed as a sum of two fractions. To solve this, we multiply the whole equation with the denominator x plus 2 multiplied by x squared minus x plus 1. As usual, we will multiply with the left side first which will cancel the denominator and leave 3x plus 4. Then multiply this fraction with this expression, will cancel the x plus 2 and leave a multiplied by x squared minus x plus 1. And the last one, multiply this fraction with this expression and leave bx plus c multiplied by x plus 2. There is only one value we can use to substitute which comes from the factor x plus 2. And the value is x equals to negative 2. Substitute x equals to negative 2 into the equation. And this part will cancel out because of the 0. From here we can get the value of a. Since the other factor is a quadratic that cannot be factorized, so we cannot get any value from the factor. But we can use other numbers like x equals to 0. When we substitute x equals to 0 into the equation together with the value of a, we will get the value of c. Now we still have to find the value of b. So, we substitute x equals to 1 into the equation together with the value of a and c. Then, solve for b. After that, substitute the values of a, b, and c into the partial fraction. However, we have to write it in the simplest form like this, where the denominator 7 must be written at the bottom. In this example, we only had to find the values of a, b, and c. The method is the same like the previous example. This fraction also has a non-repeating linear factor and a quadratic factor that cannot be factorized. But it is already stated as a sum of partial fractions. So, multiply the whole equation with the denominator x minus 1 multiplied by x squared plus 1. Then multiply with the left side first. We'll cancel the denominator and leave 2 minus 3x on the left. Then multiply this fraction. We'll cancel the x minus 1 and leave a multiplied by x squared plus 1. And multiply this fraction. We'll cancel the x squared plus 1 and leave bx plus c multiplied by x minus 1. Then to solve for a, b, and c, we use substitution method where we substitute x equals to 1 into the equation. This part is cancelled because it multiplied by 0. So we get the value of a. 
After that, choose x equals to 0 to substitute into the equation together with the value of a. And we get the value for c. Then, choose again another value to substitute. I choose x equals to 2. Substitute into the equation together with the value of a and c. And we get the value of b. And the values of a, b, and c are this. Please submit this exercise before class ended. Thank you.